Hello, hello, hello. Go around, surround, protect, and call in all the people. Tonight we are going to be talking about intuition. Mm. Hello, if you are in here and you are looking to talk all things intuitive, hello Helen, how are you? Mm. I knew you'd show up. I was hoping that switching times wasn't going to affect too many people. I think I'm going to have to start um, having a few things throughout the week at different times so that I can get my other people on the other side of the world. But if you're in here, say hi. I'd love to know who's here. I think the messages are actually coming through tonight. They don't always. Um, but I don't understand that. So anyway, how are you, Helen? What's new? Does anybody have any questions that you guys want to lead with? Tonight is going to be a QA. and a Thinking about doing a grounding once everybody's here and um, talking intuition and, and looking for examples of intuitive hits in your reality and why intuition is important um, for reality creation because that's what this is all about is how do I create the reality of my dreams? Um, how do I materialize it? What does that look like? What does it sound like? What does it feel like when I start doing that? Um, I've got a deck of cards. I've got my coffee. Don't go anywhere without my mug with a cat on it. I was going to be crass, but... <laughs> Me too, Helen. I really like it, especially when I can get out of my own way. And listen, because I can still get in my own way, believe it or not. I mean, we probably all can, right? But hey, and congratulations on launching your page. I saw that. I need to go follow it. <laughs> yeah, I got this from Max, but um, it holds a large quantity of coffee, so I like to steal it. Um, so I pulled a card to lead with tonight. And I'm going to show you that. I don't have a big enough desk. I'm in the process of finding another desk because this entire living room is actually going to become my recording studio. We're going to start recording um, all our YouTube videos and all our podcasts um, from here, Max included. So what's really cool is I got this card for today. It's about strength. I was hoping I could move it. So it would focus on the card and not me. It is a lion. Um, it's all about being empowered, having confidence and vitality. Confidence is big in intuition, trusting um, your intuitive guidance, trusting the intuition, the hits um, is really important. I, I'll tell you a story. First, I'll show you what this deck is. This is one of the Light Visions Tarot deck. Oops, here we go. I love these decks. Ah, uh, let's see. Yeah, following your intuition can be nerve-wracking, um, but it got me here, and this is a year of consecutive work to get me where I'm at, and I love it. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Um, and if it wasn't meant for you, you wouldn't be thinking about it, right? That's a big thing. Um, so I'll tell you a story about intuition. When I was a lot younger, because I realize sometimes my age, and I feel like I'm 20, but I'm actually 45. But when I was 15, my mom left. My dad, sorry, I had to do the math again. And um, one night, we were we would go out on car rides, my dad and the four of us, and we would go on rides. Um, and we were driving down these country roads in, in the flatlands of Illinois. And I had my arm out the window. I was sitting up front. It was in this 
uh, silver and maroon Caprice Classic, maybe? I don't know. I, I don't even know. Trusting my intuition that I got that right. And we were driving down the road, and I hear, pull your arm in the car. Like, this intuitive hit to pull my arm in the car. And I was like, what? Pull my arm in the car. That's weird. That's weird. Arms out the car. And then I hear, pull your arm in the car. I pull my arm in, and bam, we got T-boned. It was at a, a T-stop, and this guy just flew through and hit my dad's car. Now, had I not pulled my arm in, um, chances are <laughs> I would have been severely injured at that point in time. It was just one of those intuitive hits. There was another one. I was driving down Broadway once as a kid, and um, I had this feeling like I wanted to turn around and go to my grandparents. I lived in a small town. We always went to my grandparents. You didn't have to call. You didn't have to knock. You just showed up, right? And I had this feeling I wanted to go to my grandparents. And I was like, why do I want to go to my grandparents? And I was like, no. And I started getting severe gastro, like, stomach issues. I was like, oh, my God, I've got to find a bathroom. Well, nobody wants to go to a public bathroom. So I go to my grandparents, go to the bathroom, and I'm fine. I get back on the road, head back to where I was, and there had been a big wreck, like a severe accident that I had missed. It's things like that, hearing the voices, getting the intuitive hits, following the gut feelings. Those are um, all examples of intuition. If you're in here and you want to say hi, I'd love to see who else is here. If you are saying hi and I'm not seeing your message, I apologize. I'm going to put a message in here because sometimes it seems like if I post other um, people's posts will show up. I'm seeing Helen. But anyway, intuition. It's not always the easiest thing to listen to, but it's really important um, when it comes to creating the reality of your dreams. Because imagine walking around your whole life, hearing and getting all sorts of intuitive hits and ignoring them. Just ignoring them. Well, are you going to create the life of your dreams by ignoring the intuitive hits that you get? Not likely. Now, the school of thought is, if something is meant for you, it's not going to pass you by. It's going to keep coming around and around and around and around like a loop. So imagine the stall that you have imparted, hey Erica, in your life by not listening to these intuitive hits. Imagine how far potentially you could advance and start creating the reality of your dreams by listening to those intuitive hits. Okay, so whoever's in here, of all who's in here, send me an emoji if you have had an intuitive hit. Like, it doesn't have to be as big as a car wreck. Those are just one of the ones that um, stand out for me. Yep, they just keep coming over and over and over and over. Like, um, I like to joke, my marriage is... <laughs> no, not funny. <laughs> Maybe funny. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to take a sip of this. You guys tell me if some intuitive hits you've had or if it makes sense or is intuition something that is still so vague that you don't understand it because it used to be vague and it still kind of feels like a pretty broad term, right? Intuition. What is it? Is it a gut feeling? Yes, it can be. Is it hearing a voice from your guides? It can be. Can it be your higher self? Yep, it can be. Um, does this make sense to you guys? So, um, I was going to tell you one way to the, the biggest, the first thing you need to do to start being able to listen to in, your intuition is to start tuning in, right? Hey guides, I'm really, 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 really trying to create this reality of my dream. Stacy says I can do it. It is not out of the reach for anybody. It's possible for everybody. How do I do it? I would like guidance. Guides, I would like guidance and I'm willing to listen. Could you please send me signs? Your signs can be your intuition. Your signs can be the gut hits. The signs can guide you in the direction you want to go. Like, do you ever see something and think, ooh, I want to go over there? And you're like, no, that's silly. Why would I want to do that? I'm just going to go the way that I'm comfortable. But what if that was an intuitive hit? What if that was your intuition? What if that was your guide trying to impart on you 
a new direction? And, and what if you ended up going over there, right? These can be huge conversations and they can be very broad, um, and gen broad in general, or they can get very specific. Um, your intuition, a lot of people refer to it as your gut. It can be a subtle voice, it can be a nudge, it can be a feeling of guidance um, to do something, to go a different way, to listen, to hear, um, to answer a question on a test or an exam a, a different way maybe than you thought you would. Um, to answer a question or to talk to a friend or like I get a lot of intuitive hits um, with my phone. This thing. I love to hate my phone. <laughs> I did not ever think I would be a digital content creator and be on media so much that I would be attached to my phone. But I will get, I, it's always on do not disturb. There's like three people that can get through my do not disturb. Um, and I almost always have it turned over and almost all my notifications are off. But I get intuitive hits on things often. I'm like, ooh, oh, i thinking about my mom. Look at my phone. My mom texted me. My mom and I don't talk that often. So that happened the other day. That was weird. Let's see. Helen makes total sense. Erica, I've had plenty. One of the more powerful ones for me came in the form of me seeing fire as I fell asleep and then hearing someone yell for me to wake up. When I did, my bed was on fire as soon as I registered it and moved the fire. It, oh my God, you moved and then the fire spread. It's insane. That is, that is epic. I mean, yay. I'm glad that you got that hit. Like, and these are the moments of like, the aha moments, the oh wow moments, the that's fucking crazy. How is that possible? Like, can you see where so often we're programmed to ignore that or question that or think, oh no, no, um, no, that didn't happen. Another one is like a breakthrough or an aha, like an aha moment I just said. Like you'll be in the shower and you're like, oh, oh, that's how I should handle this aha moments, nudges, guidance, whether from your higher self or your guides, you can call them in every day. They're waiting on you to ask them to help you. Hey, guides, I could really use your help. I've got an RV. I've been screwed over by insurance. I need to get rid of this RV. I'm trusting that you're going to help me and guide me. I know, me too. The aha moments. I tend to find, Erica, that mine come big time when I'm in the water. Um, which I'm not a big, I haven't been a big bath person, but I have become that this winter. I think it's the quickest way to warm up. Do you notice, Erica, is there anywhere specifically your aha moments come the most? Decaf coffee. I have to be up late. Max, my partner, is working till somewhere between 11 and 1 a.m. So decaf has just enough caffeine to keep me going. Um, let's see, what else was I going to tell you guys about? So you do have to open yourself up to receive guidance um, and to be able to tell your guides that you're willing to receive that guidance. They often can only intercede um, a lot of the times. As long You have to invite them to do it, right? Now, if you're in a major emergent situation, they do come in, you know, those crazy scenarios where somebody's saved, um, but they can help you more if you invite them in and ask them for assistance. In water, crazy enough, yeah. There's something about the grounding properties of water, and in my opinion, the grounding properties of water, the cleansing, the releasing properties of water that allows me to step out of me and just hear and feel um, what's happening for me. Um, I really learned this this past summer when I was working for an amazing place called Camp Namakagan. And I would stand in the river and I'd be like, man, all of a sudden I'm getting all this like, oh, if you you know, do this or go do that, or here's an idea for this, or here's something you can talk on or, or go record this reel or record this piece of content. Um, it always steered me in the right direction. It always felt really cool. So I really appreciate intuition and it is what can so help you in the direction of creating your reality. So we talk about reality creation. We talk about all the things like attitude of gratitude. Uh, you have to 
feel it before you get it, so you need to live in that moment. So here, let's try something. I want you guys to imagine, first of all, come into your body, because when was the last time you felt your body? Feel your fingers, feel your toes, breathe a few times, come into your body and be like, oh, here I am, because even I wasn't in my body at that moment. Come to center screen, come to the present moment. Now imagine I just handed you a check for $100,000. How does that feel? Like sit in that for a second. What do you feel when I hand you $100,000 and I'm like, here you go. I don't want anything back. I don't want you to owe me. I don't care what you do with it. Here you go. That feeling, right? So embodying that feeling is big in reality creation, living in the feeling before it happens. Attitude of gratitude before you get out of bed. Expressing gratitude when you get signs like the penny in the parking lot or the feather or the bluebird. Um, guys, drop in here. What are your signs? Are you working with signs with your guides? Do you feel comfortable working with signs with your guides? I think it was last Sunday I was on here. I think it was on here or maybe one of the lives I did and a feather floated down right in front of me. I don't have any feather pillows up there. It's a pretty boring ceiling. Yeah. Yep. And being able to like dispel the myth that things like listening to your intuition is like okay and not like crazy. Uh, and it's our natural born like sixth sense. You know, we have been squashed a lot. Our intuition gets squashed. Our sixth sense, our, our innate abilities that we're born with get squashed a lot in society and we get distracted by our phones, by videos, by TV, by you name it. There's plenty of things for us to be distracted by. <laughs> um, but reality creation, again, right back to, you know, the attitude of gratitude, all the things, but being able to listen to your intuition is going to help you create the reality of your dreams. Like what if you're driving down the road and you hear turn left and you turn left on a whim because you're like, okay, why not? I think I'll try it. And you turn left and there's that house for sale that like, you're like, holy crap, that looks like what I was envisioning for this house that I want to buy. And it's right there. And I've never been down this street. I wouldn't have turned down this street if not for that. You know? Yep. We aren't taught to listen to our guts. We're not. We are taught so much crap. I have a 19 and a 16 year old. And I often wonder if they're learning much of any value in school. Like really, I really wonder what is valuable that they're learning. They're so I teach them just by being around them, but you know, budgeting, credit card usage, how to do anything. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like everything has just, I don't want to sound like my grandparents sounded when I was a kid, but like nobody needs to know that. Like, why are we, why are we, anyway, that is not what this is about. <laughs> this is about listening to our intuition <laughs> and how that helps us create our reality. Um, I've had so many hits like that. I will use my intuition when I'm looking for a job, um, which I haven't done in a long time, but I have found the jobs through listening to my intuition. Do I do this or do I do that? And I sit and just feel my body. It's a lot like the heart and mind coordination. And I think I was talking about this yesterday somewhere. And this is an epic tool. I was gonna say trick, but trick's the wrong word, tool. So if you're sitting in your body, and you're like, hmm, should I get Thai food tonight in your brain, which we're not supposed to occupy much time thinking, really and truly, um, in your brain, and your brain's like, yes, Thai food, hmm. Like, okay, heart, gut, this area, Thai food, hmm. Now, you do not have heart and mind coordination, right? You're like, ooh, what about the meatball place? What about the meatball place? Brain, yeah, meatballs. Heart, gut, ooh, meatballs. They're aligned. Heart and mind, coordination. Pretty easy ways to navigate big decisions. Now, always sleep on it. I would totally recommend you understand your HD, your human design, 
um for me nothing is ever true in the moment and i always need to sleep on it and i've gotten a lot of grief from people over big decisions when i'm like mm, i'm gonna have to take 24 hours especially like high pressure or what feels like a high pressure situation for me when i'm like no i i'm not going until i have a you know i've slept on it and i have a true gut reaction um i just had to do this recently where i really wanted to do something in my body but my brain was like nope 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 and so then that's when i got all confused like brain thinking overthinking all of that but i just went with my gut and i wasn't aligned i could never find alignment so i just didn't do it and again if it's meant for you it's just going to come back so that's my brief 20 minute summation of intuition i just got a really weird hit um i'm a psychic so i'm stacy sam Lenning. i'm a psychic medium and i'm a trans channeler i'm getting ready to start doing live trans channeling so every once in a while i get hits i'm not sure what that was but what are your questions do you have questions about intuition there is no silly question there's no stupid question there's no wrong question um let me know if you have a question i'm gonna give you a second and i'm gonna go find another deck of cards too because i'm gonna pull everybody a card who's here tonight All right, I'm going to go grab another deck. If you don't have questions about intuition or anything that came up for you when I was discussing it, that is fine. No big deal. Um, if you have questions about anything, psychic, medium, channeler, I've been a coach for 15 years. I've worked in the gym. My background is in um, sport and health science and nutrition, but I decided we humans have a whole lot more going on and then our physicality, and I prefer to work on the spiritual side of it and connect people with their deceased loved ones. You struggle to differentiate from your head. So like, Jenny, how are you? So um, your head versus your heart, your head versus your gut. Let me know. I'm going to grab another deck of cards. I should have grabbed them before I started, but... Well, okay, so perfect question, Erica. I love that. How do I start asking my guides for help in a way that doesn't invite anything negative in? You set strong boundaries. Guides, guardians, angels, allies are the highest good and the highest intention only. I would love it if you show me some intuitive guidance. If you don't dabble, allow, nothing, there's nothing to worry about have strong boundaries. I only work and I'm only willing. And then the other thing, um, I do coach on this a whole lot, um, is setting strong boundaries. So for me, when I'm talking to my deceased loved ones, um, or anybody, because I, I do readings professionally, right? So unless I open up and I say, come in and I'm open, and I go through a whole process there, um, I will say, okay guides, you got from 9 a.m. until 9, 10 a.m. today to come talk to me. And that is it. I'm open from 9 to 9, 10. I'm willing to listen. And then I'm closed sign. That's it. Because um, you will find that when you start to open up, sometimes it can feel overwhelming, maybe. Um, potentially, again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Nothing I'm saying is tried or true or hard and fast for everybody. We are all different, right? Yes, boundaries, Helen. Um, huge, 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 huge is boundaries. And if we're, that is something I wanna do a masterclass on is because a lot of us struggle with boundaries in our skin suit, human body. We need to have them with spirit too. So, you know, and I would suggest Erica, if you haven't been to my YouTube page, I'll see if I can put up the link here. Um, ground, surround, protect cord cut cord cuts huge um and setting your boundaries absolutely those things are what will keep you 
where you want to be. There is the link to my YouTube page. Um, on there, you will find the Ground Surround Protect Cord Cut. If you have questions or want more guidance there, just let me know. You can come over to my actual um, website and um, see what's on there as well. Join um, the newsletter. And um, there's a freebie on there too. I keep forgetting that that was up. My assistant was like, don't forget you've got a freebie, which is several videos um, as well. Let me see. But you could join the Secret Power Toolbox. I am teaching more mastermind. That would set you up there too. But free spiritual protection mini course. That's exactly what it is. Um, I'll send that to you too. Thank you for asking that question. I really appreciate that and being able to answer it. Yep, absolutely, Helen. It is one big jigsaw puzzle and there is no accident that we're all here, right? We show up to assist and hold hands and help each other. Erica, if you're not on my private Facebook group, Reality Transformation, come join that. You can post on there. You can ask any questions. There's like 95. We're getting close to 100 people of all like-minded people. I've built this and developed it, and I approve everybody individually that it's not, not everybody can get in. I'm very picky uh, because you have to want to be there. You have to want to learn. You No trolls, um, nobody who's naysaying, right? I, I'm open to conversation and discourse, absolutely but I'm very particular about who I let in um, so that it is a safe space because that's important and keeping it small so that we can all converse and get to know each other too. So, okay, Jenny, let's see, head versus gut. So Jenny, tell me, do you have a hard time turning your brain off? Is it, is it, is that, so start there. Do you have a hard time? not being in your head? Do you feel as though you have a hard time? I understand the power of words and sometimes they come out wrong. Or not like I want them to. Oh, interesting. I wonder what deck I pulled. Pleiadian Oracle. No, 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 no. Okay. So... Alright. Thinking I have something I can send you. That I recorded a while ago. Sorry, I'm trying to tap in and remember where it lives. I will see what I can find for you offline. If anybody else is interested um, in that, let me know. Um, Jenny, what is your, do you know your human design? Have you ever looked at that? Because I think that might be really, really helpful to start with there. I bet you do, you work at Vic, right? Shout out always to Victoria, my favorite coach and mentor. No, 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 no. Let me get in here and get out another deck. All right, if you guys haven't been on with me, I pull one card for everybody generally or whatever comes out. I am an intuitive, intuitive reader. So I shuffle until the card comes out or I'm told to pull or take a specific card out. I read the cards intuitively uh, or if they're an oracle and I don't work with it a lot, I will um, look at the deck. Oh, Jenny, do you know your numbers? I'm just curious. I am a 6'2 emotional manager um, and I have all the emotional waves. And I too struggled with turning off my brain for a while. That's why I feel like I know that I have something here for you. Um, but you're also an intuitive, right? Like psychic medium. I believe, I believe, Erica, I don't know if this is your first time being in here or not, but I believe we're all psychic. I believe we all work with intuition, with our gut, etc. And that intuition, gut, those kinds of things, psychic hits, uh, clear seeing, clear hearing, all the clairs um, lead to what is labeled as psychic. Um, 
feel like i'm giving you guys a whole lot of information and i'm like whoo ramping up. it's funny when i when i start working on things that i like as an emotional management i get like whoo ah i bring the energy up. um let's see jenny, helen, erica do you know human design? do you know your do you know your hd? first time finally catching you live something told me to check my facebook so i did and saw you were live. guess what? that's what you call intuition baby. <laughs> Helen, that's epic. Self, so I'm a six two, but you're a self. Are you a self projected projector? Is that what that means? Yeah, hermit. So Erica, if you want, uh, my partner Max does HD. If you'd like, like the briefest rundown, um, let me know. And they also do um, they do readings. You're a five one, Jenny. Awesome. It's so interesting to see how we all come together and our similarities and differences just within human design, knowing too that all things can change, right? And all things are subjective. So before I start, okay. So before I start um, reading cards individually, I will do a collective card. So anything that comes across here is meant for you. If you're here, take what resonates, leave what doesn't as always. I pulled light technology so radiance is you light is you um this light technology card arrives when a time of fruitful endeavors is here like a field being cleared for new seeds to be planted your dna holds the same potential when traumas of the past are released now thanks to your dedication to growth a new time of opportunity and new beginnings has arrived activate this light, te light technology within yourself by speaking to your molecular structure and instructing it for what you desire so that is something that I do and <laughs> two is I work with my body energy work with self of like healing teeth, healing um, when they admitted me when I had, I don't know how many of you guys were around for this, um, when they thought I had cancer and I didn't know they thought I had cancer and I was bleeding out this summer and they admitted me to the hospital to have a um, emergency hysterectomy because I was um, pushing out a mass through my cervix and I'd lost three or four pints of blood by the time I got to the emergency room. Um, they admitted me to oncology. I had no idea what, onco what oncology was and they kept trying to tell me I had cancer and I'm like, I, I don't have cancer. <laughs> I, I don't have cancer and they're like no and finally one doctor stood there in front of me and I know she had the best of intentions and got so serious with me that I had cancer and I'm like but I don't <laughs> and they eventually came back when pathology came back to tell me I didn't have cancer but the whole time I was just doing energy body work energy body work energy body work and I didn't have cancer and I knew I didn't have cancer, but man, did they want me to believe I had cancer. Energy work. I don't know who, what, where I got started on that. Sorry. So yeah, they really, really, really wanted me to think I had cancer. I'm like, I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do that. My intuition, my gut was like, nope. I don't know. Energy work. Um, you're a 6'2 manifester. Ooh, a manifester. That's so funny. I just asked the universe to bring me a manifester. We've got a list on the fridge, Max and I. Uh, generator, manifester, manigen, reflector, projector, and we don't know any manifestors. And we've only met one reflector. And I was like, universe, <laughs> I want a manifester. <laughs> well, here you are. Um, yes, energy healing is epic and I love energy healing from afar, like working with people, um, animals. It's so, it's so amazing and so cool and so inspiring. So Erica, when, um, when we're done here, um, DM me, send me a DM and, um, we can talk more there about HD and everything. Um, for you guys too, I'm going to start doing lives on Friday nights. And I think I'm going to go and actually do another live daytime so that I can catch all my people on the other side of the world in, in England. 
because this is like 3 a.m. for them and they were a little sad that they were going to miss it. Um, all right. Does everybody in here want a card? Can you let me know? I need your permission to draw a card for you and I'll do you guys in the order of saying yes. Another collective card, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Oh my God, as Victoria would say, I'm doing a lot of clearing. Um, you can be free. So as you can see, she pushes open the gates, the bindings around her legs or her body drop down to her feet. She is free and she is guided. The only thing holding you guys back is you. The only thing between you guys and your dreams is you. The only thing between you and creating the reality you want is you. Don't kill me. <laughs> All right, Helen. So the way this works, Erica, I don't need to know your question. I just want you to think about it. If you want to do it that way, if you just want broad and general, that's fine too. Helen, I will pull a card for you. So it is a collective reading, so there is something in here for everybody. But the card will be specifically for Helen. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Intuitive reader, so I will pull intuitively and read intuitively. Um, Helen, are owls, in, that's so funny, are owls important to you? <laughs> Eight of Gabriel. That's funny, I thought it was a page of, or a card of owls. It is a card of birds, flight, movement, but I heard owls, so I said owls. You know, a friend of mine was listening to our podcast today, and she sent me a message. She's like, I'm getting fit and working on my brain or something. And then she sends me a picture of this giant owl in a tree. So there's some owls for you. Um, it's all about activity right now, um, with sudden and immediate results coming in for you. Be sure that you um, focus on your communication and don't feel as though, sorry, I wish this would focus. Um, don't feel grounded or stuck. Allow yourself to whew, feel light, but grounding's good too. Just allow yourself to not feel like you're stuck on the ground. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I'm just the messenger. Please don't kill the messenger. All right. Erica, you would like a card. Who else would like a card? I'm not sure who else is in here. Hmm. All right, Erica. So if you have a question, think about it. Nope, I'm pulled wrong deck. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I'm going to go here. Sacred Rebels. I was turned on to this deck by Dawn. She's a friend, a beloved friend of mine that I met through Victoria, and I forgot I had this 